Okay, this one is your listen and respond. This story is called Me and Dog. Um, what you're going to do here, you're going to put your name at the top, put the date, and then put the title of the story. So Me and Dog. So readers always collect clues before they get started reading. Look at the front and back covers of the book before you start reading or listening to the story and then fill in the chart below. What do you think this book is going to be about and why do you think this? I think this book is going to be about... So here's the front cover. And here's the back cover. So on the back cover I see a boy, I see a dog, some food, water. The front cover, they're outside hanging out. So I think this book will be about a boy and his dog. I think this because they are on the cover. So you can have this written down on your first one, but for the second one, I would like for you to come up with your own guess about what you might, what you think this story might be about. Once you've done that, you can come back into here and we will go to the next section. Remember the next section is characters and setting. Readers know and understand that the characters and setting of a story help them to understand what's going on. So let's go ahead and get started. Me and dog. This is me. My name is Sid. I'm just an ordinary kid. Ooh, so I already know that this guy's name is Sid. So I'm going to write him, Sid. I also know he's an ordinary kid. So I'm going to write that down. I make mistakes. They're mostly small, except for when they're not at all. So Sid makes mistakes. So makes mistakes. This is Murphy. He's my pet. He's the world's best dog, I bet. But just between us, me and you... Ooh, before I go here, I'm going to go ahead and write Murphy down because that's the dog's name. Murphy Sid's dog. Best dog. Okay. But just between us, me and you... Murphy's ordinary, too. Murphy's pretty smart, but he thinks a bit too much of me. To him, I'm not a short grade schooler. So here we could add grade schooler. And for Murphy, we could add ordinary and smart. I'm supreme almighty ruler. Super duper boss and king of absolutely everything. So yesterday while getting mail, oops, I stepped on Murphy's tail. He yelped, then blinked his big brown eyes and started to apologize. Oh, Murphy. Murphy thinks when things go bad, he must have somehow made me mad. Let's go ahead and stop right here and add in our setting. All right, what is the setting of the story? So remember, the setting is the place the story is happening in, right? So it seems to me like at the beginning of this story, they were outside in a yard playing, and then it looks like they were, I think he was imagining this page. Then it looks like they're inside of his house. And this is another imagination, imagination. Oh, a mailbox. So I think they're... The setting of the story is Sid's neighborhood because it shows like all the things that are in a neighborhood, like your house, a park, right? How does the setting match what is happening with the characters? Let's wait to answer that because I'm not sure yet. Let's see what happens next. Happy things get understood as his reward for being good. It isn't true the world is large and I'm a kid. I'm not in charge. I sometimes think there is no boss. That most things happen just because. Murphy though does not agree. 
He sits around and worships me. He thinks that if he begs enough, I will give him lots of stuff. So let's make a prediction here. Readers always guess what might happen next. What do you think might happen next? Something I think might happen next is uh, Sid will give Murphy a treat. I think this because I know that dogs like treats and when they do tricks like begging, they get treats. Dogs like treats and do tricks to get treats. Okay, so I've added something I think might happen next. I want to know what is something that you think might happen next for this next one. So you can write mine down or you could come up with two of your own, but I at least need you to come up with one of your own. So go ahead and do that now. And then you can come back to the story. Bits of beef and chunks of cheese, things to chase and things to squeeze, things to honk and things to shove, and things that only dogs could love. Ew, those look like underwear. It's silly how he prays and pleads, since I give